If you're into camper vans and connecting with people, then you're in for a real treat. We're going to Burning Van today where we celebrate the new year with van tours, making new friends, and having a grand time. But no adventure is complete without its own set of challenges. We're Chico and Moritz and we built this dream tiny home on wheels. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more van life reality, travel, and outdoor adventures. This will be our first meetup ever and I am beyond excited. How are you oh, feeling, I'm Moritz? I'm super excited too. I'm excited to meet people and I don't know, see what other vans are out there. Maybe we find another bus truck. I cannot wait to find you further, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we wanted to film this before the light goes away, we're going to be there in about 29 minutes. So hopefully we still get some footage as we arrive. already making yeah right <laughs> pasta bean dip quesadilla pecan pie oh store-bought i was like who's making a pecan, know, pecan right? pie it, it would, be, it would be pretty cool <laughs> um i'm just gonna do a ground beef chili we always plan to get to places before we actually arrive at them that is our channel we are perpetually late doing everything here we're gonna get settled and then we'll show you our camp spot tomorrow and what this is all about. Today is a sunscreen kind of day and when it is a sunscreen kind of day, it is always a good day. As I was doing yoga this morning, my word of the year finally came to me. So for the past, I want to say like eight years, I've been using words of the year to guide my thinking, my purpose, because the word purpose is really big. This past year was explore. So as you can see, I've taken explore to the ultimate extreme. And my word of the year is ease. Just to ease into everyday life, just find ease in everything every day. As you might be able to hear, it is not I or me who is waking up Moritz today. It is the sound of gunshots. What did you say? Let me get my gun out. <laughs> you don't have one. Oh. Somebody send Moritz one. <laughs> inaugurate the German. So as you can see, we've got many neighbors. We've got neighbors abound. We spent some time last night meeting some of them uh, just so that we wouldn't be like a stranger today. And uh, everyone's been super nice. We didn't turn on the cameras because it was just so dark and we didn't want to be like people that are like, hey, say hi to the camera. <laughs> uh, but that's happening today. So I'm gonna make some tea get this guy out of bed, and then let's go make some friends. Quickly, queen, quickly, quick, quickly clean house. Since we're gonna have visitors today. Just another sun there are so many vans around us. Oh. I heard your van was professionally built. Yes, it was, yeah. Do you mind if we take a look? 
Whoa, that is sweet. I yeah, love it. Yeah, he found some just like this metal grate and spray painted it blue. And yeah. Kind of to be what my colors were. And oh, I love this little area here. Yeah. You have so much like. All my little fun things and my screaming goat. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my favorite things. Anyway. Wait, what do I? So you hold it down. And just... <laughs> is this is this your security system? Yes, it is. Yes. Somebody's trying to break it. If anybody comes in, a goat, a goat. goat. <laughs> How long have you been in this van? Uh, about four months. And? Uh, it's been amazing. Oh. Yeah, quit my job, sold my house, and just wow. on the road and trying to figure wow. out life. What was the biggest hurdle then for you to overcome? Whether it was like physically or maybe mentally. Uh, Mentally, for sure. Um, it was just the getting out of the old, like what I considered the merry-go-round of life, where I kept on coming back to the same part. I might have been going up a little bit here and there, but in the last four months and year since I've really started doing this, it's everything has changed. Like I've started to shift away from that. Like I need to get these things. I need to do these things. I need to get to the next thing. To like just experiencing life and being with people and sharing that and what I have and learning what they have. Oh, that is so beautiful. What a beautiful message. Thank yes. you. Can I ask if I can smell this vicinity? The weirdest thing the ever. Weird and you've been using it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not using it. Okay. Morning. And I'm not gonna like no. judge or anything because wow. we're just human. <laughs> oh my God, you can't smell it. Yeah. Do you want to try more? <laughs> Go for it. I, I mean, you don't. Well, you have a stronger sense of smell than I do. Because so. it's like, because well, like you like do your thing, you crank it, and yeah. that's like we have to, we we manually stir our shit every morning. Fantastic! That sounds yeah. like a wonderful morning. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to go first. <laughs> Honey, stir the shit. <laughs> and then this morning, the stick fell into. Them. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. So, um, for all of you who are watching and debating between building your own toilet and a nature's head, if the scent is really a big problem... This is actually an airhead. Oh, it's an airhead? Yeah. Not it's a nature's head? Yeah. How much is an airhead? Uh, I think it's about the same. It's like 800,000 oh. bucks right around there. Okay, now I gotta move. <laughs> it's easier to balance if you move. You want to give us a tour of your home? So we sleep here. Uh, I'll head this way. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Sarah's side. Ooh. She has glowing stickers on the, there. Maybe after we can see yours. Yeah, yeah, we can come see ours and, too. Um, we have all our bathroom stuff here and here it's our laundry so I really like this unit. I also Composting toilet. So why, why van life for the both of you? Because we, we can travel more, you know, and I, I bought a van when COVID started. Um, but we didn't really travel much. Um, just this summer, I, I told her that's time. So I rebuilt it. I put uh, insulation in the wall and solar on the roof mm -hmm. so we can have everything we need. Every time there's a long weekend, we go camping around and here we are in yeah. the desert. Hopefully, you know, there's going to be spring break and summer break, so we're going to travel more. Well, yeah. thank you for the tour. Thank you, Sarah. So thank you. Um, where could our viewers find your your gigs? Pink Mushroom, so but pinkmash.com. Okay, got it. Thank you. What do you mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's just like usually when I see I'm gonna like uh, do some of the pixel. This is starting to rust. <laughs> just flaking so off. So you take a wire brush and then you just, I'm gonna do some primer and then oh, painting and fix my fan and I don't want all the fumes to be in your rig. Look at this! <laughs> this van, we spotted it from like afar because this was Moritz's. Whoa, what are you doing back there? 
Uh, that was Mort's dream van. And you'll get to see the full van tour in an upcoming video. Can I go pay Ben a visit? Hey Ben, are you open? Oh, you got Bat Shiva too. I can just like, like hop on, right? Yeah, yeah. Man. It can, it's not gonna break. This is super cool. Well, hold on, I, I was just cleaning this floor, so hold on. <laughs> Everybody, this is Ben. Hello, you Hi. too. Wow, that's not scary at all. Oh. Do, I mean, I guess you get used to it. I mean, I do it all the time, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> if it were me, I'd probably just go right up. You probably would. Yeah. You want to try? No. Sure. <laughs> Maybe if I got the unicycle. Oh, <laughs> that'd be even better, yeah, yeah. Did you build this out yourself? Yeah, I did. Amazing. Yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, well, it's not ever done, so forever, apparently. But <laughs> yeah. um, like 15 months to get the main working stuff, mostly waiting for parts, honestly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my god, these are amazing. Right? Yeah. We need those. Yeah. Um, so the bed is up in the ceiling. Oh my god. Wait. <gasps> okay, wait. You're going to put push a magic button? Um, see the bed frame? Yeah. Whoa! So you can like articulate that and it's got plugs and USB all over. Change the angle on the head and the feet separately so if you're laying on an angle, uh -huh. you can fix the bed, make it flat, even if you're parked not flat. Yeah, yeah. Did you invent this whole contraption? Pretty much, yeah. I like I mean not not in like I I bought this, uh -huh. I bought this, I bought this, but I put them all together in just a, just such a way, you know? What's the significance behind that piece the right painting? there? Yeah. So my friend painted that, you can see in 2011 and he gave it to me in 2021 and he like he painted this thing and just was holding on to it for 10 years and when he saw me build the van he's like dude i think i painted something for you i really do love it i feel like it's really like represents van life uh -huh. and me a bit because like i was a math teacher and i used to use dice a lot with my students to like get them to do things and make sure they thought it was fair you know because it was like i rolled the dice and it was not it wasn't biased you know uh -huh. um Anyway, so it's just got like some personal meaning from the, the geometric kind of construction and the dice and then I feel like that, you know, a single tree is kind of like me on my van life and everything's kind of crazy all around me and it's like right on the brink but you still have everything you need. And yeah. It's constantly moving and you never really know how it's going to look but it's also totally stable and secure, you know? Mm -hmm. Hi! <laughs> yeah! So, as you can see, it got a little windy and dusty. What do you think? <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I, I, know, yeah. the side. No. I have no peripheral vision <laughs> at all. The sand was like scratching my eyeballs under the contact, so. Yeah, we're gonna go check out more vans now. It's been a great day so far. How are you feeling? Yeah, we hope you guys are having fun coming along right now. My name is Tom. Sachiko. Nice to meet you, Tom. Sachiko. Sachiko. Yeah, and Sheena. Sheena, nice to meet you. Aiden, nice to meet you. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I got the cat on us. No worries. What's your name? And what's her cat? Cat. Hi, cat. Hi, meow. Meow, meow. Alrighty, guys. Whoa, look at the vibe in here. Our Sukasa. Her name is Stella. Wow. Yeah, so she's not 100% finished. We kind of were just like, we need to leave. So that's why this area, it's kind of like not painted. We haven't finished the showers. Trust only just the like toilet up. in there. But eventually we want this to be all tiled up and stuff. But the water works, so we do outside showers. And just put it out the window. Mm -hmm. That's more fun anyway. Yeah, it is actually really fun. Why van life or schooly life for you? Um, honestly, I feel like COVID kind of like inspired it. I've always been into like tiny living, and then like we kind of we only met like two years ago, but 
like during COVID, we just kind of watched all those van life videos all the time. Like we were just watching it. We were watching that tiny home videos, and it kind of like it kind of kept on changing into something else. Because at first we wanted to do an airstream, so we stayed at an airstream. We're like, we're getting an airstream, but then we're like, wait, we have to buy a truck too. So we're like, that's not gonna Airstreams are nice. We're like, wait, that's not gonna make any sense. So then we kind of it just kind of kept evolving until, and then I was big on like windows and space, so we went back and forth between like a Sprinter van and this. And where can where can people find you? Underscore Adventures with Stella. So the plan was to cook outside, but it's the desert. It got really windy, and now there's like a fine layer of dust all over everything. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to eat dust. There we go. So it's gonna be a potluck later, and our contribution is gonna be a chili. <laughs> wow, it's really hot. But the one thing about potlucks, especially potlucks with van lifers, is all van lifers know how to cook because we live in a van and we're cheap, so we don't go out to eat often. I wouldn't say we're cheap, we just have value that the finer things in life. So these are the absolute best potlucks you will ever go to. My sense of smell is on a point today. I smelled the toilet. <laughs> I smelled someone else's toilet also. <laughs> Come here, bandit. Does he fit? How do you like it in here? You oh, found you like the snack. Where is, he, where, is he gonna, where is he gonna sleep? I don't know. He's gonna wanna be with you. Oh, Dicor! <laughs> we all know Someone this. Someone had some! Oh, they had some? Amazing. He special ordered it. Oh, perfect. And he said he has time to order to get more. So. <gasps> Lucky you. Mm, 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 mm. I'm already Nothing, open. nothing better in a van <laughs> event than some cock. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Somebody brought the Joker. Everything. Do you want liquid stuff or solid stuff first? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. I was like... I'm Jules. I will be your hostess with the mostest. Here is our incredible, spectacular, <laughs> acrobatic performer, Sarah! Can't you see? I'm crawling, exactly like you. I'm falling, falling. Yeah, I'm out of this bath. <laughs> <laughs> but if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? How am I gonna be an optimist about this? 
How am I gonna be an optimist about this if you close your eyes? So we just had the potluck and the talent show, both of which were amazing and so much fun. The energy here is phenomenal. We're having such a good time and I'm fingers crossed that the footage turns out because it was really dark here. We're just gonna go hang out by the fire and just relax until the countdown for the new year. 19, five, four, five, four, three, two, one. We got a sticker to add to our collection. documentary you will see that place if you can guess what it is on our next video then leave it in the comments below so happy new year to everybody 2022 is gonna be another crazy and fantastic year and it's really up to us to, to make it the best that we can all right we'll see you on the road to pitches see you on the road to pitches Bye.